Afternoon. This pan dog. I'm trying to see how to do this without getting the Jeep in the picture. And uh, Kitty Blaze and Tosha, and they're they're almost okay. It's been like six days. They're almost okay. As hard as I can't see the screen, I'm hoping I don't have the Jeep in the picture. Well, if this is a cut cut, it's because I got the license plate. I'll check that out when I get there. Anyway, um, we've reached our high today. Woo -woo. <laughs> it's like 51 degrees. Um, I've already taken my hoodie off. I was doing some other work I did not film. It's just how it is. Um, but I've got about three hours before, you know, the temperature drops and I get too cold. You know, at least too cold for me to work. So what am I going to do? I'm going to work on clearing the property down there some more. Um, it's not enough time to go work on the driveway. Um, and that's my winter goals this year. Hey, helps if I learn how to walk. <laughs> you didn't see that on film, hopefully. But anyway, um, winter goals this year have been to continue to clean that area down there. And, uh... Clear the driveway. And for whatever reason, most of my time has been uh, working on this one. It's just because, you know, I've not had a, a full day. It's just a couple hours here or there. So let me get my tools together and I'm going to continue working down there. So I'll talk to you in a few. BFFs, they're like, yeah, we're playing. Kitty Blaze is kind of still hanging up out at the workshop. I hear you, kitties. Mom is right down here. Yeah, I know kitties. So, um, yeah, this is where we're starting. Um, you can see where Panda is standing, all of that. There's the line that's clear. And you can see right about there is where we get into deep junk again. So, Tosha, no! Sorry, I do have to yell at her. Tosha was raised with a cat, and Tosha and her kitty play, you know, that live life large and love in it, and, and Tosha doesn't quite understand that my kitty is feral. Um, kind of sure her mom was eaten, or his mom was eaten by a coyote. That is my assumption. I don't know that for a fact. But Kitty Blaze pretty much thinks Tosha is going to kill it. So when Tosha runs to meet Kitty, Kitty is instantly scared. Um, Kitty spent the first 48 hours not eating when Tosha got to property because she was just scared. To, he was just scared to come out from underneath the porch. Um, that's why the porch is blocked. So Kitty can come out and stay on one side and meet Tosha on his terms on the other side. And that's part of that feral thing. So while everybody's calming on the porch, Kitty's like, okay, we can smell the dog. Um, but when we're out here and Tosha runs up, Kitty's terrified, just terrified. So, it just, Tosha just gotta stay calm and that's kind of hard for a German Shepherd to do. Kitty just doesn't understand. Anyway. We're starting roughly here, and we're going to the stump, or as far as I can get. Um, get the leaves, get the trees, you know, as much as I can. I brought my chainsaw out here with me today so I can start trimming some of this back, because this is all the larger logs. Um, Three-foot sections, maybe four-foot sections, I don't know. It depends on how, how heavy it is. Um, the wood pieces, because long-term, I want them to line the back row, so I can build that end up and lower this end down a little, because, again, this will end up long-term being a garden. Um, I will make sure the stumps, especially the cedar ones, which take a long time to degrade, are, are outside the line there so I can get to them when I go to build the wall over there. So, you know, plans are in motion, but the first thing is, is to get it clean. Because once it's clean, I get to maintain it clean. Um, when I started this, this mess literally came all the way out to where that piece of grass is. That makes sense. So all of this is clear. And you can see I've got grass going all the way up to there. You can see the lines where it's like, oh, oh. One day this will all be clear. <coughs> be grass, roughly. Maybe some weeds, but not, you know, it'll be mowed. It'll be maintained so I can garden in it appropriately. But I got to get it. I got to get clean first. All right. Let me get to work. Quit rambling. And we, Panda, Tosha, and Kitty Blaze, we'll talk to you later. Supervisor approved. I know it's hard for your, I'm, I believe it's hard to see the, the string right here. That's my line. And you can see straight down now. And you can tell just where Panda's standing. There's a hump here, and there's a hump here, and there's a hump there. Um, 
kind of, it's a mess. I'm assuming that when they knocked all these trees down, they just used like a, a bulldozer or a tractor and pushed it all over here and pushed the land over here with it, is my assumption. And that they were going to do a burn pile and never burned it. That's just, again, complete assumption on my part. Ah, but we're clear, so I got a pile of leaves, one pile of leaves, two, and a, and a cart full to go take care of. My cord here, does that make sense? I want to take from that stump to the pine tree on the other side and square that edge off as well. Um, again, because once I clear it, I need to maintain it. Um, and this side I will end up, I still got a stump there I got to dig out. Um, but I'm going to come down once I get towards the trees on this side with the tractor and not so much level it, but level it with the ground that's over here on this side. So when I am mowing, that makes sense, it's not sand dunes going on here. I can actually mow it. Because um, this side of it is not going to be garden. The garden didn't start until we get to those trees. But I mean, I can't even get to those trees. If I say that come spring, that back area tends to overgrow a lot. Um, so I want to get it like this. I want to get it lined up where I know where my lines are. So I know where I'm mowing, get it clean of rocks. Um, Use the tractor a little, you know, straighten out the ground enough where it's the way I want it. All right, let me get busy taking care of piles, and I will talk to you later. So, Tosha's in training, and was just explaining to her, you know, why we cleared the line. And standing up here at the stump, you can, it's very obvious you can see it. Having said that, I used a couple of my garden spikes because I was gonna, you know, keep my string up. Um, I ran out of string. So, this side is not marked, but very obviously where I've dug and where I've not dug. Chickens are still scratching. They've not left the area. Sorry. Picking up trash. So that's where my string ends. Because, again, I know I wanna level out the dirt and stuff here, and I'm not gonna be able to do that until I get this cleared to the trees. Come spring, though, the backside is what uh, it's what gets me because it just it overgrows too fast, and I can't mow it so on down the line. So again, there's the stump, and you'll be able to see if you follow the string and the little blue ties that lines up with the the dead pine. Does that make sense? And keeping the dead pine in view, you can see where from the the string in the blue line all the way out there. I mean, it just, it overgrows. It's a large amount of stuff. Um, and it needs to go. Does that make sense? Because then it's a straight line. It's a coop, the pine, what will be a berm raised up because this will all be gardening here. This will be the, the, the larger area stuff like the corn, tomatoes, green beans. My peppers will end up in here. That's long term. That's what this turns into. Um, Closer to the coop if I want to spread manure, um, down from the upper garden which likes acidic oil, you know, it'll have its own swell before the trees, but I got a lot of cleanup to do, you know, to get from here to the blue line, lots of cleanup. Now having said that, this corner, that tree is in this corner, this is where that grape is. Um, I have not found its base yet which means it's still in that mess. It's all right, the rest of that is gonna be completely cleared. Now some of this is just scrub. This is gonna be as easy as that side was. This is just, you can see scrub and there's some, some beauty berry and you know, it'll be relatively easy to clean. I'm not gonna say extremely easy, but relatively easy. There's some, some stump pieces in here, not a lot, until you get to that mess. And that is a mess. That is a tangled mess. Um, I've got pieces of stump here, there's a piece of tin, there's a piece of tin in there, you know, and then you can, you can count it, that's one stump, that's another stump, that's another stump, that's another stump, that way a little, that's another stump, there's another stump back there, I mean it's just, this is what I think they did again, that they cut a bunch of trees down and then just used a bulldozer or a, a, a um, Come on, a yeah, tractor, there we go. Why? My words are awesome. And just, again, this is better. You can see the stumps just stacked on each other. They just bulldozed it all here, which is why the, the, the ground is jacked up. 
having said that, this area, all these little grass mounds, all the way up to the stream is pretty clear. So, you know, you cheat. You start on this side, you clear up to that mess, and then you go on that side and you clear up to that mess because that mess is going to take a while. Um, yeah. And then, like I said, the stumps, there's a stack of them over there by Tosha. I'll zoom way in. Um, those are stumps and or pieces of cedar that uh, came out of the upper area. And it's T-post and bricks, stumps, and all the rocks are what will literally go along this line. Um, and that raises this side up, or the uphill side up. Makes sense? So I can flatten the downhill side down a little. Um, create a, a, a berm, for lack of better words, so I can, I don't want to say level it out, but, but level it out, make it more level than it is now. You know? Oh, last video of today. Um, so I checked the pump house, made sure the, the heat lamp and the thermostat outlet are good to go. Um, checked my hot wire that does my condensation pipe on my, um, on my, uh, propane heat for the house. That's also good to go. They're both on and active. Um, I had this stack of firewood already on the porch. Just because we're going to have five days of rain, snow, ice, uh, minus two temperatures or more, I went ahead and added another stack. Just, you know, it's one of those, the first year I was here, because I didn't understand the heating system of the house, that the condensation line had froze and it stopped the heater from working and I went through a lot of firewood. Stayed warm, still went through a lot of firewood. Um, and just in case it gets bad, I just, you know, lots of firewood, lots of firewood. Same thing with last time they said rain, snow. Again, I had ice. Um, my sidewalk, driveway, can ice over. You know, and instead of having to walk over there on the ice, I can throw out de-ice. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff I can do. It's just really easy if there's firewood. Having said that, yes, this side is plastic. Right now it is a south wind. It's blowing straight in my face. Um, when we go to rain is when the storm arrives and then it will shift to a north wind and that's when we start to get the snow. So on a north wind, all of the wood on the side would get wet. Say with the south wind, all the wood on that side gets wet. So you can see I plastic it when I put it up here just to make sure that not an issue. Yeah, I've got some wood there and some wood there on the ground. I need to take it in the house for tonight's fire. Um, otherwise, I'm done. Everything that I can check has been checked. Wood's on here. Um, I will tell you, I won't tonight because we're not going to get to, how to say it. Kitty's house, the last time it rained snowed because we hit 30, was on medium. Kitty stayed in his house. The heating pad works great. He's got a little fluffy bed thingy in there that stays nice and warm. He was awesome. He actually pokes his head out and looks at me and says, Meow! He's just, he's nice and warm in there. Um, when we go, because we're going to go below 30. 30 is 32 is freezing. Fahrenheit. Uh, the three nights that we're supposed to do that, and again, I will check it nightly, I will actually end up coming out putting, the, putting his heat pad on high. Yes, the wind. Um, and, and part of that is because should he get too hot, does that make sense? He'll come in and out of the, the, the feline fort as necessary to, to regulate his own temperature. But when we're down to negative two, I ain't going to lie, I'd be a little mad at you if you just said, well, you got a coat. I'd like a little bit of fireplace, you know. So I'm probably going to turn his heat on high. And then just I'll judge it from there. If it's too hot for him and he's... You know, half in the feline fort, half out going, Mom, it's a sauna. All right, well, I'll turn it back down to medium. But I just, I think because we're going to go so cold, I'm going to turn from medium to high. What did he blaze? Yeah, you think that's a good idea too? All right, last video of the evening. Life is awesome. Y'all stay warm, stay dry. Winter's coming. Or it's here. <laughs>